Okay, this story comes from Brianna Edwards at The Root. So, a Virginia mother is facing charges of assault after authorities say she hit a black teen who got into a fight, a school fight with her son, the New York Daily News reports. In the video, the Northumberland High School student appears to be slamming the black teen, John Thomas, to the ground before punching him repeatedly. Shortly after the scuffle between the two boys ensues, the mother of the unidentified teen and another individual can be seen pulling the pair apart, only to have the mother, identified as Heather Lynn Zebra, slap John, the black teen, across his face with an open hand. You are not going to call my son a N. Do you understand me? Zebra can be heard yelling in the video, according to the Daily News. According to the Daily no News, both Zebra and her son are white. John, WTVR reports, was left confused by the encounter. I saw her hand come down, then she hit my face, and then she said, he will not call my son the N-word, the teen said, adding that he had never used the slur. John told the news station that the altercation which occurred before football practice started when he was talking to another teammate and Zebra's son tried to jump into the conversation. John said he told the boy to mind his business, which embarrassed the boy. The boy left before returning with his mom, who happens to be a football team volunteer. John's mother, Nicole Thomas, is furious that someone would hit her child in such a manner. What? Okay. How dare you, the outraged mother said of Zebra, for this woman to restrain my son by holding him by the shirt and then sticking her finger in, in his face after slapping him? Then chastising him for something that he repeatedly said he didn't say, how dare you, she added. To abuse, berate, belittle, intimidate, and physically attack someone is disgusting. I think it needs to be addressed, and I think people need to be punished for it and held accountable. Zebra was charged with assault Wednesday and had a protective order served against her, the Northumberland Sheriff's Office said. A juvenile was also charged in relation to the case. School superintendent Rebecca Gates ensured the news station that the case would be handled swiftly and justly. Obviously, we want to make sure our students are safe, Gates said. We will have all of the information that we need before we make a fair and honest determination about consequences and what we need to avoid to avoid this situation again. Hmm. Interesting. So the black student uh, supposedly... Uh, as alleged by the white mother, called her white son a nigger. Hmm, that's interesting. So if you would like to uh, get more black news and information, please subscribe to at yourblackworld.net. My name is Yurima Karama at Your Black World News.